Caitlin Clark has broken the WNBA, man. Let's see what this video is talking about, bro. Definitely leading in the rookie of the year race. I had to pick a, a rookie of the year at this time. Um, like today, you had to pick, today, you know? It's, it's Angel. My rookie of the year is going to go based on the standing. Okay. Because I think that, that Hold on, so, hold on. So, are you trying to say that everybody, hold on, let me see. Hold on, let me see what this right And the sky right now are in I think, playoffs. if you want to, you asking me right now, I'm, I'm going Caitlin. I'm voting Caitlin right now, if you ask me right now. Two, three weeks ago, I was going Angel. Now I'm going Caitlin. When it comes to Clark the last three games, she started going off. Fact, she's getting better game by game, week by week. No, nah, that's especially facts. Especially month by month. And now we're halfway through the season, Clark, She's breaking records on nearly a daily basis. Look, see, that's I look, that's why I don't, don't want to seem like a hater or nothing like that. But breaking records on a daily basis, bro. And all those critics, doubters, naysayers who are very vocal early on, all of a sudden are on, kind of quiet, right. reserved, and not doing much talking. I take it all back. <laughs> Everything I take it all back. Every word. And of course, Clark's biggest rival is indeed Angel Reese, who, in her own right has a massive fan base. When we're looking at them player for player, this is not a Magic vs. Bird scenario. This oh, here we go with this hating ass shit. Versus Charles Oakley. Here we go. Here we go with the hating. Nah, I ain't, I ain't saying he hating. He probably got a point in the video. He probably trying to state some facts. We about to see. We about to see what he talking As about. Clark, the Let's see. Player, far superior than someone like Angel Reese. We'll who see. struggles with basic layups every single game. Bro. Angel Reese spinning on the stick. Yo, watch out. And then this nigga gonna this nigga gonna show her, her missing the layup. So it's, so it's you gonna show all the Caitlyn Clark turnovers in this video as well, huh, buddy? Is you gonna show Caitlyn Clark turnovers all her turnovers in this video? Like, bro, first of all, if you wanna be technical, Angel was winning the, MVP, the rookie of the year voting three a month ago. And like you guys seen all year long, the debates Clark versus Reese, who's the rookie of the year? Those debates from the beginning have been idiotic and pointless. What? As Clark from the jump was a clear cut front runner, the eventual winner, and a much better overall player. But still, with that being said, ESPN pushed their narratives virtually every day. I have said this. That's cap, bro. I'm gonna lie. ESPN started getting on my nerves with the Caitlyn Clark narrative. They hate Caitlyn Clark. He gonna play this one thing from ESPN with me. bro. He gonna play this one video that say, "Yeah, Angel Reese, something." Bro, it's. Hundreds of video of Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. glazing. I'm talking about basically sucking Caitlin Clark off. Hey, like, I'm talking about right her, bro. See, that's why I don't really be liking these videos like this, bro. These based on the standing. It's like it don't it don't show the whole story and just go off of bias. And it's like it's just it's a biased video. Terrible. So you'd have to give the nod in my mind to Angel Reese. A month ago, Angel wasn't real good years. Facts. Possibly one of the dumbest takes I ever heard. NBA, WNBA. This is hey, I promise you, this is a fat kid that never played basketball ever in his life. This is a fact. You don't know what he talking. As the rookie of the year, the standing win loss record, it matters very, very little. As looking for an NBA comparison, someone like Victor Wembanyama. This is different, bro. He basically wasn't even a rookie his second year. He was this was his second year. This was after his rookie year. He was he bro. If you want to, bro. First of all, <laughs> he could have won MVP. Deepest player of the year. He led the league in blocks. Bruv, Caitlin Clark not doing none of that. Caitlin Clark not the MVP. She ain't leading the league in nothing but some assists. Bruv, come on. This is a uh, terrible One of the comparison. worst teams in the league. Terrible and still won the award. But Chet Holmgren finished second. Wasn't the best team in the West. Terrible, terrible comparison. If we're facing enough win-loss records, Chet Holmgren should have won the award over Victor. No. Something no one actually believed. Did you watch? Did you see the stats, my boy? This is a, a, a part of it. Let's, 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 let's continue but watching the video. Let's we'll continue watching the video. Your race, it matters oh so much. It mattered at the time because it was so close. Nobody was really doing nothing. Kevin Clark was averaging 15 points on 30% shoot, bro. Self, why is that? Because win loss record is the only thing Angel Reese could potentially have on Clark in this race. And if you want to talk overall impact on the win loss record, Clark's impact much greater than someone like Angel Reese. At the Fever last year, they went 13-27, the worst record in the league. The Fever with Clark this year already have won 13 games. And that's despite the season only 1-8, and, 
Those in their first five games. She probably is a better. She's a better player. Now versus then. Kevin Clark's a better player. Thirteen and fifteen. But he just people it, saying saying like people idiotic and all this other stuff is just like extra to me. Cause I'm like, bro, that's the biggest glaze ever. Like. Seven and twenty-one. He <laughs> just hate it. That right there is a massive improvement based off really one player. Andrew Reese in Chicago was part of a very good team already ascending and climbing. Already a very good team already ascending. It was eighteen and twenty-two. Part of a good team who was ascending. It was 18 and 22. And standings. Bro. At last year, they won 18 games, the fifth seed, and made the <laughs> Okay, bro. Whatever and narrative you want to push. Not only added Reese, but a top. Whatever you want to push, brother. Mendoza. My overall point is pretty simple. When debating the rookie of the year, win loss totals really should not matter, factor in to who actually wins the award. At this point, Clark. Don't Clark got more wins, though? Player, and more deserving player. Did we cut but that doesn't mean she have a better season. The year. As thus far. Okay, now he's talking. Look, look, we're looking at we're looking at the stats right here. He talked about everybody idiotic for saying it. we can get close. Everybody idiotic for this and that, this and that, this and that. She only averaging four more points than Angel. She obviously beating her assists by seven. Angel whooping her and rebounds by seven, by the same basically by the same amount she beating her assists by. And she only averaging four more points. Like, bruv. Steals. Caitlin. Bruv. Like. The stats is basically almost. It's the same thing. Back from the field, three, and the free throw line. The only big time edge Reese has on Clark is offensive rebounds. And a lot of those rebounds off her own misses of white. Don't matter. They rebounds, nigga. Times before. Bro, I can bro, I can only imagine if Angel Reese ran with her the year, bro. People gonna be so mad. They might start a riot. They might start a riot, bro. I cannot count. Is that bad? It's not good. And look, this might sound hard, but Angel. It's, it's hey, bro. It's you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. These niggas gotta be like you. Literally sit on your computer all day just to hate on another person. Caitlyn Clark is better than Angel. She's better. But to hate on another person, like she's not in the league, averaging 14 and 12 as a rookie is the greatest dick suck I've ever seen in my life. This nigga, bro, I ain't gonna count. Objectively, one of the worst finishers at the rim in all of the history of basketball, NBA, ABA, BAA, even WNBA, one of the worst of all time. And looking at this year for Reese on paint scoring under five. This is a fact. This, this, this boy talking to let y'all know. He gonna get hella views on his video. This is a fight well, fight fat white boy. If he's not a fat white boy, if he if he if he lifts weights and stuff, he's a cornball. He's either one or two fat and don't get no girls or he'll he a cornball. First off, Reese at 9.2 per game. Then you have Hamby, Boston, Collier, Jones, Carter, Wilson, so on, so on. Now looking at this list, these players are high volume paint scores. Now, what's the one standout, the one glaring factor about Angel Reese? She ranks first in overall attempts at 9.3 per game. But in shooting percentage, ranks dead last, 7% lower. Here we go again, 45%. That means she shoot nine shots. That means she make 45%. That means she making four out of nine. Three out of nine, four out of nine, five out of nine sometimes. Um, hmm. Let's see, top one. McComen, 68%. Let's see, let's go back. 68% and she's shooting six of them. So Angel's shooting three more shots than her. Bro, obviously her shot is gonna be better if she's shooting only six fucking shots. If Angel's shooting more shots, she got she got more chance to miss. Like that's definitely awful damage. But people don't see this video and be like, yeah, 45%. Oh yeah. She shooting more. She only shoots six inside shots a game. She can't make three shots. Angel shoot nine, and she's gonna make the same amount. So it don't this sixty eight percent she got. Angel still scored the same amount with this forty. The forty five percent Angel still scored the same amount of points she did. Not a good look, but it gets even worse looking at the top fifty in paint shots per game under five feet. Now once again, reason attempts per game ranks first at nine point three, but again in field goal percentage ranks dead last, fifty out of fifty. And the one girl in front of her is a 5'11 Ford, which is 2% better than Reese, who is 6'3. Like, wait, there's more. 
And here is one <laughs> this mind blowing stat. In WNBA, this thing is 15 times ever as a player, taking at least eight shots per game in the paint, five feet or closer. And out of those 15 players, Reese, guess who she? Oh, I don't. This is what I'm gonna say right now. Obviously, all everything Kayla Carr, any rookies, everything they gonna do right now is gonna be inflated because they they doing it more. So all the old shit that WNBA was doing in the past years, all the numbers about to be inflated. Kayla Carr about to break all the three point records, all the assist records, and Reese about to break all the rebound records, all the block records, bro. She's just gonna do that, bro. It's the new era. Just like Luke and all them breaking about to be breaking all the records, they gonna be breaking the records. So the more she shoot, if she miss, it's gonna be all. It's gonna be like she broke a record for most missed shots. Like Kobe, you know how many shots Kobe missed? You want to talk about missed shots? You want to talk about field goal percentage? Look up Kobe field goal percentage, nigga. Ranks on attempts per game. She ranks I wasn't a big man, but y'all y'all get what I mean. Now overall percentage again forty five point two percent. That ranks dead last. And looking at that list, the second worst field percentage from Alyssa Thompson, twenty seventeen, at fifty eight. You see all these players right here? All these players? Players that may hit your eight field goals until it's from five feet close. Nine percent. That compared to Reese looks like Kuma K was E. And again, the gap from worst to second worst, Reese to Thompson is nearly 14% in shooting percentage. Angel Reese isn't a bad paint score for 2024 standards. She's a bad paint score for all of history standards. And what makes it even worse that Reese, outside of five feet, has no offensive game. It's crazy. He did suck her so hard. And she still, still broke the double double record and still might win record of the year. Whatsoever. As so far this year, he gonna be mad. 18 to 78 on shots outside of five feet. She's not a shooter. 23%. She cannot exactly. shoot. I can't take much more of this. What you have in Andrew Reese, a person who plays like Charles Oakley with the green light of Shaquille O'Neal. If you give Oakley that green light, he has to score some points, forget some numbers, might even be an all star. But getting those numbers, it's not going to be pretty and conducive to actually winning games for the team. And these so-called double doubles. <laughs> hey, things be talking about they really be doing basketball. They're real. fine. They're nice. They make a good headline. But when you're missing so many layups so constantly, those double doubles value really hold no weight. And now to you, Kendall buddy. Clark, what's her one big time critique? Well, you know, turns the ball over at a high rate. Is very very turnover prone. Makes bad pass, ill advised passes. Takes you think so? Shots. And those critiques. Why well, he gonna say? They can be valid. They can look, be fine. Hey look, they can be hey this nigga show. And he talking about Kaitlyn Clark. Look, critique, critique. I see. I can't even talk right now. He talking. He talking about Kaitlyn Clark critiques and playing a video of her saucing up and getting a bucket. This why this niggas be dead sucking so hard in videos. I'm like, bro, you can literally be like. You can love Kayla Clark and still not hate on injuries as much as the niggas do. Takes bad shots. And those critiques, they can be valid, they can be fine. Look, they can, they can, he said those critiques, they can be valid, they can be fine, but... Accurate. But Kayla Clark having those flaws in her game aren't nearly as big flaws as Angel Reese missing layups. It's, it's, to be, turn the ball over is, is really bad in Miss Layup because you can just make layups. And a lot of Clark's turnovers, what are they a product of? One teammate's not handling her. So we blaming teammates, bro. I'm about, I'm about to turn this video off, bro. <laughs> Yo, just keep it real, bro. That's what I hate about the media, bro. Shannon Sharp, all of them. Just keep it up. Like, y'all think this guy's the right Jesus. Ranked 12th in scoring, 1st in assist, 8th in usage rate, 1st in points responsible. Bro, ain't, show Angels doesn't be ranked. And 2nd in assist percentage. Show Angel shit. Now, if you show Angels... As Asia yeah, was. Go so Caitlin Clark's flaws as a player being term prone, more of a product of her environment and not her overall play. For an NBA comparison, look at someone like James Harden or Luca. This nigga just compared that girl to James Harden or Luca. The greatest dick suck of all time, nigga. I'm talking about this nigga just glazed so hard just now. And he a hater. This nigga's a hater and he glazed. She is not a no, she averaging like what 17 points? They have the ball. She okay right now, bro. The offense runs through them. And they put up gaudy numbers, point assist. They're great players offensively. Clark, very similar. One of the best scorers and passers in the league. But at the same time, tons of turnovers. 
She's not one of the best scores in the league if she's 12th in scoring, bro. One of the best scores in the league is 8 through 1, nigga. If Clark you talk wasn't about? one of the best passer scores in the league, those turnovers will be a big time problem. Because then you have a player with the green light who really shouldn't have one. For example, look at Kobe in 06. That year in the NBA, he missed over a thousand shots. Now at the same time, also ranked first in made field goals and total points. My overall point being a player like Clark, Kobe, Luka, Harden, a high usage player, they're gonna get bad stats as well as good stats. But those good stats heavily outweigh the bad stats like turnovers as well as missed shots. And to go full circle for this video, looking back at Reese versus Clark, again, Andrew Reese is a very good player, potentially could be a great player. Yo, he's the greatest dick sucker of all time. I'm not even gonna lie, I can't even listen to him on this video. I'm done with this video. Look, man, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, let me know in the comments what y'all think of this video, bro. I already know y'all gonna dick suck and came the clock so hard. I already know y'all is, but let me know in the comments what y'all think, bro. Y'all, y'all, let's do this in. Y'all believe what he's saying? Let me know in the comments, man. I got, I got a lot of people y'all in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments, bro, for real. But like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know what's going on.